So I got into a bit of a Twitter altercation on Friday. And yeah, normally I avoid these things like the plague because they're so time consuming and they're frustrating. And I wish, you know, I, I sought the counsel of my peers prior to engaging. And I remember distinctly Ron telling me, you know, nothing good to be gained by joining into, into that thread. And I wish I'd listened to Ron, honestly, really do. Wish I'd listened to Ron because nothing good was gained. I wasted the whole morning, got really frustrated. Almost turned really bad for me because I had a stream with Nathan that, that day at 3 o'clock. Almost ruined the stream for me because I was so, got so frustrated and upset. And then they were still on my, my timeline Saturday mornings. And I almost engaged again. This time I listened to Ron. Otherwise, I might have ruined all Saturday. So I ruined about six hours of my life engaging with Twitter idiots, you know, YouTube idiots, engaging with douchebag atheists. Uh, so what happened? Well, first of all, the entire thread starts off because Peter going to go for it. If you don't know him, you know, this is his idea of a, of, a, of a good idea. This is his idea of a real tactic. He posts, he tags me into a Twitter, into, into a thread where he's got Stephanie in a Nazi uniform. Yeah, Stephanie in a Nazi uniform. I, like Ron said, I should have disengaged, I should never have engaged right from the jump. And he th that's his idea of a fair tactic. He's, honestly, he's just trying to publicly humiliate her. Unbelievable how embarrassing this is. Oh, look, Stephanie said something stupid about the Holocaust three years ago. And now I got a Nazi uniform. <laughs> it's like fourth grade. You know, I, honestly, I doubt he's going to listen to this video because there are about 10 of these people in this thread. And they're basically cowards. How do you know they're cowards? Because they come 10 on one. They don't come one on one. They come 10 on one. They dogpile you. Not as there's this one guy, double A, don't talk to this guy. Yeah, I don't know this guy from a hole in the wall. But every time people dogpile me, he shows up and he starts taking cheap shots at me. Yeah, talk about a coward. Doesn't even have the stones to talk to me to my face. Waits till people are dogpiling me and then he goes, oh, Craig Reed is going to make the wizard appear and says, trying to, try to mock me. So if you don't know Peter, okay, his sole agenda, honestly, his sole agenda on Twitter seems to be trying to publicly humiliate people. Honestly. If you go look at his Twitter feed right now, I bet you $1,000 he's trying to publicly humiliate somebody as we speak. Honestly, I bet you 1000 bucks he is, or somebody yesterday or the day before that. He's got a YouTube channel. Half the time he invites people on his YouTube channel. If it's a Christian, he's usually just trying to humiliate them. That's all he's trying to do. Doesn't care about what's true, honestly. And, you know, so in this particular thread, he's got Stephanie Nazi uniform. Oh, ha, ha, ha. What fun. Looks like we're going to have a real civilized conversation. Yeah, I guess that's his prelude to a really intelligent conversation. And Robert Reed is joining him. I used to have so much respect for Robert Reed. It's so depressing to see that he's hanging around with him acting like that. Honestly, I used to really like this guy, Robert Reed. He's one of the cool atheists. I used to say he was like a great guy, like a Rene or Dr. Josh. Um, Dr. Josh I like. You know, some of you have problems with Dr. Josh. You shouldn't. He's a decent guy. He's not, if you have a real conversation with Dr. Josh, he'll have a real conversation back. He's not trying to publicly humiliate people. So Robert Reed used to be one of them, and now I have no more respect for him. It's sad to see that he's interacting like that. I don't ever really want to talk to him again. He probably won't listen to this video either, you know. And then, okay, so then later on in this thread, Florida Line who I've interacted with in the past and never had an issue with. Apparently, she's been doing this to Stephanie. She's been taking notes on her tweets, putting them in a file. Apparently, she's been doing it to me, too. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> three and a half years ago or three years ago or something like that, I said something to her about the Holy Spirit. I see it pop up on my Twitter feed Friday. And uh, for the life of me, I swear to God, so this woman has taken something I said to her three years ago and posted it today or posted it on Friday. Like I've been saying it the whole time. I said it to her once. I said it to her once. I mean, I, I, that's like from another planet. It's such a bizarre and absurd tactic. It's honestly, it's from another planet. It's really so weird. I mean, let me just clue, do a reality check if you're an atheist listening to this. I don't, I don't care what you guys said three years ago. I don't have any record of your tweets from three years ago. I don't care what you said two years ago. I barely care what you said last month. So she took one single thing that I said to her three years ago, and she's posting it today like I've been saying it the whole time. Said it once. But on the substance of the thing I said, it's actually kind of interesting because they're all acting 
And this is underscores what I've been trying to do on my channel. She hasn't listened to a single video I posted in the last three years. Neither has Peter, neither has Robert Reed. Robert Reed came by a month ago, starts going, you said I was going to be a Christian in three years for, we're, we're, oh, uh, uh, and was acting like a total idiot. Almost blocked him. Almost blocked, I used to love this guy, almost blocked him. I posted a video, he starts telling me something I said to him three years ago, I'm like, I don't care what I said to you three years ago. I posted a video I made that day, he didn't click on the link. They don't want to have real conversations, they don't want to actually engage in any intelligent level with any integrity. They want to hold you to something you said three years ago as if that's the only thing you've been talking about. And they don't, they, they refuse to di understand why that's a total corrupt and dishonest tactic. Hello, if any of you listen, I doubt they're listening. That's a totally corrupt and dishonest tactic. That's like a straw man times 50. Here, here's the weakest thing you ever said, Craig. The weakest thing you ever said. Even though you've got videos out that you put out, maybe one a day for the last year, here's the weakest thing you said three years ago. And just on the substance of the thing I said, it underscores what I'm trying to do. Basically, it's Christianity 101. Deconverted Man, I don't know what you think is so radically different. Deconverted Man will probably listen. Deconverted Man is not like those guys. Say what you want about Deconverted Man, but he has some integrity. First of all, he comes one-on-one. -on -one. He doesn't dogpile people. He, comes, he listens to your video, and he tries to engage honestly with the content. Those guys don't do that. They dogpile. They come in packs. They come 10 on one, and they're basically just trying to publicly humiliate you. That's it. That's all they're trying to do. Honestly. Honestly. <laughs> That's all they're trying to do. They don't give a flying as fig what's true. They don't care what you said yesterday. I posted a video on that thread that Stephanie and I made two days ago. Peter didn't want to click on it. Why? Because he can't publicly humiliate her about that. She said it two days ago. It's a lot more relevant than what she said three years ago. But he knows that there's going to be no avenue to publicly humiliate her with it because she's gotten a little bit more careful of her words over the time. So you, may, so you, you know, single out the, the stupid sloppy thing she said three, four years ago and you disregard everything she says today. And I, Yeah, I guess you think that's a fair tactic. I don't and no rational person would. But on the substance of the thing I tweeted to Florida Line, really, it was Christianity 101. I said, I'm going to make the Holy Spirit appear. <gasps> oh, my God. And this underscores what, what I've been trying to do on my videos. Deconverted, man. There's nothing about that tweet that Florida Line tweeted that's anything all that radically different about things I've told, I've discussed with you on my YouTube channel in plain English. I don't know what they're acting. The, the difference is back then I used to speak in Christianese. Over the, the years I've learned to not speak in Christianese. And why? Because that way atheists can't pretend, pretend, did you hear the word I'm using? They can't pretend you said something wildly outlandish. I didn't. I said, basically what I said to Florida Line was Christianity 101. I don't know what they're getting all triggered out about. I can't believe Craig's, he's going to make the Holy Spirit appear. I can't wait to see this. This is so wild and outlandish. Like I said, you know, I'm going to make monkeys fly out of my rear end in July, guys. Wait and see. That's what they're all acting like. That's honest to God what they're all acting like. They're all congregating around the tweet like, I can't wait to see this. This is wild. The Chief Converter Man, what do you think I've been talking about this whole time? We've been talking about this the whole <clears throat> time. Every third video is about the Holy Spirit. What do you think I mean when I say I disappear in my prayer closet, Deacon Verda Man? I go have a powerful, subjective, internal experience, 100% real to me. And that's all, I believe it's the Holy Spirit of God. What exactly do you think I meant? The only difference is now I say it in secular terms so that atheists can't pretend that it's wildly outlandish. And the key word I just used is pretend. That's the only difference, Deacon Verda Man is that nowadays I've learned to speak in secular language so that atheists can't pretend it's wildly outlandish. Nothing I said to Florida Line is all that different from anything I said last week or the week before that. I've explained this in plain English on my YouTube channel. So why they're all acting like triggered out idiots, I'm not sure. Oh, he said by July. July might be a little early. But I said I'm going to try to have an avenue built on this channel where you guys are going to be able to experience the Holy Spirit for yourself. I said that in plain English more than once. The only difference is now I'm saying it in secular terms. And I can explain it to you in secular terms so you can't pretend it's something wildly outlandish. 
And if you do, I'm going to catch you. If you do, I'm going to catch you because I can shift the burner proof right back on you. You're going to have to explain to me why it's so, so outlandish and irrational and you have to do it in English. And you aren't going to be able to do it. Why? Because it isn't all that wild and outlandish and irrational. I said it to her in Christianese. I guess the key word that they're all triggered out about is I said a peer. I don't know, I don't know what they think is so outlandish about that. But I've said var variations on the same thing on my videos that I put up over the last three months, four months, five months. And Deconvert Men, you clicked on some of those links. So I don't know what the, what the, big, what the big ordeal is out there on Twitter. Where I don't know what they're all freaking out about. I can't believe you said something this outlandish. Yeah, I can't believe you would pretend it's that outlandish either. Get a grip on reality, guys. First of all, it's a dishonest tactic, Florida line, if you're listening. I put out a lot of tweets between now and the last three years. I put out a hundred videos at least, at least, and you haven't clicked on any of them. So what does that tell me? You don't give one rat's ass about what's actually true, about what's actually true about what I'm saying. You don't care at all. You, you like Peter, are only trying to, you know, let me try and make this appear as weak. Let me try and make Craig appear as stupid as humanly possible. That's it. That seems to be the agenda. Well, good luck with that, guys. It's not going to work too well because it's really not that much. That's about as, that's about as humili uh, humiliating, incriminating thing as you'll find me saying. Yeah, I'm going to try and make the Holy Spirit appear to people. Oh, my God, I can't believe you said that. That's so crazy. Again, I've said this in, the vid in videos in the past. I did not say in that tweet. By the way, in July, monkeys are going to fly out of my rear end and they're going to heal the whole of YouTube. I didn't say anything like that. All the atheists are acting like I did. I'm going to make the Holy Spirit appear. I've said maybe the key word is appear. Maybe you guys are all triggered out by the word appear. Oh my God, that's so outlandish, Craig. No, not really. You guys just spend a lot of time trying to pretend that this stuff is a lot more outlandish than it actually is. Why? Because you're not honest. Because you're dishonest. That's why. Because you aren't honest. Am I speaking plain English? Because you aren't honest. Nothing that outlandish about that tweet, Florida Line. Sorry that you think it's so crazy. Deconvert a man. Nothing about that tweet is radically different from things you and I have talked about in plain English. Sorry that you don't get that. It's because I've gotten smarter at couching these things in secular terms so that you can't pretend I said something crazy. Because that's all that's going on out there. They're pretending I said something really outlandish. And now I've learned to speak it in a way that secular people can understand it so that they don't automatically do what's their sole agenda. Debunk, dismiss, discredit. Oh, let me debunk, dismiss, discredit. Without sound justification, mind you. Nothing I said to Florida Line was all that outlandish. Can't for the life of me imagine why 10 of them are acting like triggered out lunatics. Maybe it's because they don't know anything about Christianity, they don't know anything about religion, and they don't want to learn. How about that? That's a pretty good guess, wouldn't you say, guys? I would. Because they don't know anything about Christianity, they don't know anything about the Holy Spirit, they don't know anything about religious phenomenon, they don't want to learn. In terms of Peter's sole agenda, on Twitter, on YouTube, honestly, I really think this is his sole agenda, is to publicly humiliate other people. He said in his tweets, I don't click on video links. Yeah, why is that? Because a video link, you could actually learn something, but you can't humiliate, publicly humiliate a video. You can't. So there's no reason for Peter to quick on, click on a video link. Why? Because he can't publicly humiliate you in a video. Video's already made. And I really honestly, that's the only thing I've ever seen him try to do is publicly humiliate people. I swear to God, that's the only thing I've ever seen him try to do. So there you have it, kids. That was my altercation on Friday. Total waste of time. Total waste of time. Should have listened to Ron. Should have listened to Ron, not engaged. Why? Because those there's a packet, there's one of those people in that group is a really good person. Her name is Nick's mom, Jen. Sweetheart. Talk to her all the time about other things. She's a really good person. The rest of those people pack of idiots. The guy double A is a total douchebag coward. Total douchebag coward. Swear to God. He shows up in a, in, a, in a pylon when there's 10 people, you know, and the rest of them I don't know. They're all... One, one guy says to me, P Peter pulls... Honestly, this is how, this is how disgusting and, and dishonest he is. He pulls a single line, I said from the first YouTube video I'd ever been on was on his channel. And he's extraordinarily fortunate that that was my first rodeo because if it wasn't, I would have buried him. And he doesn't seem to think that. I swear to God, I, I think he thinks he's, he listened to a Matt Dillahunty video, now he's Matt Dillahunty. Peter, you're not Matt Dillahunty. I've said this to you before, there are some really first-rate intellects in the atheist community. There's some real people out there who really know their stuff, Peter. You're not one of them. 
You never will be. Just because you think you are, because you understand Matt Dillahunty's video, doesn't make you Matt Dillahunty. Nobody's afraid of, to engage with you. We just don't enjoy engaging with you. I doubt he's even going to listen to this video. Why? Cowardice. What I said. Coward, coward, coward. Pulling things that people said three years ago and, and not listening to what they say today is a cowardly tactic. If you don't think it is, I can't help you. It's a cowardly tactic. It's straw manning someone times a thousand. Here, here's the weakest thing you ever said, Craig. Okay, what about the video I put out yesterday? Oh, I got no argument against that. I know. That's why you won't click on the link. I got nothing to say about that. I know. That's why it's a waste of time to engage with you. No, Peter, I'm not afraid of you. Honest to God. Not afraid of you at all. It's pathetic that you, that you have that high opinion of yourself. Again, let me say so it's clear. There are some really first-rate intellects in the atheist community, Peter. You are not one of them, I promise. You are not even close. Just because you watch a Matt Dillahunty video doesn't make you Matt Dillahunty. Never will. You aren't. <laughs> you aren't. Not afraid of you at all. I just don't know if I want to engage with you because it's usually a waste of time. And sometimes it's extraordinarily unpleasant. Does that make sense? So what are you afraid of, Craig? I'm, I'm afraid of wasting two and a half hours with an extraordinarily unpleasant experience with someone who doesn't care about what's true. Is that pretty crystal clear what I'm afraid of? Wasting my time with a dishonest actor who could care less about what's true, whose sole agenda seems to be trying to publicly humiliate other people. That's what I'm afraid of. And if you doubt that that's truly what I'm afraid of, does anybody actually think that, that the, that's not true? I should not have clicked on the link. I should not have engaged on Friday. I almost engaged on Saturday too. And I would have wasted my whole Saturday, wound up upset for most of Saturday. Some guy, how slanderous these people can be. I've got, you know, 15 interviews with atheists, really high brow, high level atheists, Seth Andrews, Paul Agia. I've never had one altercation with any of them. People come on my YouTube channel and they have an easy time. We don't even quarrel. P Half of Peter's YouTube, YouTube, um, interviews, people storm out in frustration, block him. All he's trying to do usually is publicly humiliate people. One of, his, one of the people on that thread accused me, me. I've been in three, four arguments in three years. Four years. Honestly, I've been in four public altercations in four years on Twitter. This guy says, oh yeah, he's real easygoing. He accused me, between me and Peter, of I'm the combative one. Peter gets in arguments every single other, every other day. Every single week, Peter's in an argument. I've gotten in four, in four years. But I'm the combative one out of me and Peter. Because the first YouTube chat I was ever on happened to be with Peter. And honestly, I was shocked at how appalling he was acting. Really honestly, I was. Really honestly, he's Renee's friend. That's how I knew him at the time. I thought he was Renee's friend, which means I thought he was going to be cool like Renee is. Renee doesn't act like that. I have an interview with Renee. Renee's perfectly decent. He doesn't try to humiliate people. He doesn't try to get in their faces. Peter does it every single day. Peter does it every single day. So if, you're, if, you, if you have reality check atheists between me and Peter, and you can ask other atheists you don't believe me, it's not just Christians who will tell you that about Peter. Other atheists will tell you the same thing. Between me and Peter, okay, there's a track record here. You can, you can go look at the track record. I've interviews with Seth Andrews, Paul Agia, genetically modified skeptic, Shannon. None of, no altercation to be had anywhere. Objectively, Dan, nothing but, you know, asking the normal questions, treat them like decently, like decent human beings. Half of Peter's interviews end in frustration. Somebody storms away in frustration, won't talk to him ever again. Yeah, he's, I'm the combative one out of me and Peter. That's fair. Who, who even said that? If you're listening to this, thanks for the slander, asshole. Thanks. <laughs> People got no shame about slandering. In the atheist community, no less, where you say, examine the evidence. Everything's got to be evidence-based conclusions. But I'll slander Craig just like that without a moment's notice. I'll just slander Craig just like that. Thanks. So, anyways, Ron was right. Should have thought better of the whole thing. Would have, would have wasted, you know, wasted six hours of my life. I sincerely doubt any of them will listen to this video. Like I said, cowards. How do you know they're cowards? Congregate. Ten on one. It's the only time they interact. Ten on one. Ten on one. That's it. 
They don't do one-on-one. -on -one. Deacon Vertiman's not a coward. Deacon Vertiman was just kind of there. He wasn't one of them. He just kind of interacted. Deacon Vertiman will, you know, deal one-on-one. -on -one. He'll listen to your videos and he'll try to engage with you in an honest way. The rest of those guys won't. And apparently reads one of them. Yeah, sorry to say, depressing. Really depressing, but reads one of them. So, there you have it, kids. That was how I spent my Friday. That was all for now. Mass has ended. Go in peace. Amen.